Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's lessons. We are just about done with the scrolling platform world uh, lessons, um, and this is the, the last one. We have it basically working, and if you've followed along, you've got it working too. If you haven't been following along or have been having trouble, you can uh, download the demo lesson at mrstewartslessons.com and uh, go to uh, platform intermediate to intermediate uh, lesson eight and download the demo lesson there. The l last thing we need to fix here is um, we have our world scrolling the way we want it to, um, except uh, the only thing that's not quite right is if you notice the way things are coming on the screen, like right here. Uh, you see that this the they coming on the the platforms are coming on the screen and they're appearing in like an ugly way, which is that is we're seeing that kind of gap or like right here, which we don't want. So what we need to do is we need to make the platforms come on the screen just a little bit off the screen actually. And to do that, what we need is what's called an unbounded world. An unbounded world means that actors can exist off the actual visible screen. So. Uh, and the way we make an unbounded world is we're going to go to this this part here, the super, which actually creates the world. This is basically saying 600 cells by 400 cells, and each cell is one pixel. And I'm just going to add one thing. I'm going to type false. Uh, by adding this, you're saying that the bounding of the world is false. That is, it's an unbounded world, and things can exist off the platform, off the world, I mean. Uh, off the screen and so what we want to do is we want to make the platforms actually appear off the screen so the th we want to go down to the part that actually draws the world which is the update feature if which is right down here this is the update feature this is the part that redraws the world every turn for us what, what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to uh, make a change to this particular long if statement which is where we're checking to see if the platform should be on the world um, and you'll notice if this platform X is greater than or equal to left bound that means uh, if it's greater than or equal to the left bound of the world so uh, this platform the X coordinate would be right the whatever it's the X coordinate of this is greater than or equal to whatever the left bound of the world is which is right here so what we want to do is we're just going to make we're going to add something we're going to say wrong thing we're going to add if this platform x and then we're going to add the platform width so this platform x plus the width of the platform the platform width we got up above here the platform width is um this right here and the platform height are these two lines right here which actually check to see how high the uh, height and width of the platform are. So if the platform width, if the platform X plus the platform width are greater than or equal to the left bound, then it's going to appear. And that's going to make the platform actually come on the screen a little bit before it actually is visible. Or it's going to make it come into the world, I should say, a little bit before it's actually on the screen. And that means, so we'll just see it appear more smoothly. And then we want to do the same thing on the right bound, which of course is the right side of the screen. So we want to check this to change if this if the x coordinate of the platform minus the width of the platform is less than or equal to the right bound of the screen. And then I'm going to come over here to the y coordinates, right, which is the same thing. This is just checking the height to see if the y coordinates are if the y coordinate here is greater than or equal to the top bound which is up at the top so I'm going to add this platform y plus the platform height and then last of all if we have the um, if this platform y uh, is less than or equal to the bottom of the bound so we want to add if this platform y minus the platform width is less than or equal to the bottom bound. So this is hard to see. It's all not it's bigger than the whole screen. So just to go over this whole thing right now it says if this platform x plus the platform width is less than greater than or equal to the left bound and this platform x minus the platform width is less than or equal to the right bound and 
this platform y plus the platform height is greater than or equal to the top bound and this platform y minus the platform width is less than or equal to the bottom bound. So just another look at that whole line for you. I'm going to kind of scroll across it so you can see the different parts. So now if I compile and run this I'm going to see my platforms are going to come on the world a lot more smoothly which is exactly what we want. Unfortunately we're not quite done because we still have a problem. We now said the platforms can come on the world off the screen but unfortunately now we have the problem that our ball guy can now go off the screen too because the, the unbounded world applies to everybody. So I need to make sure that my ball guy can't actually go off the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my ball guy code window and I'm going to open up my ball guy code window and then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to um, I need to change um, just one thing inside his move command. The move command is just the um, what's making him move around on the screen. What I basically want to do, I already have it. This is this is sort of the big long if state series of if statements that checks to see if I'm running into the platform or if I'm on the bottom of the world. Now I really just need to make sure that I'm not on the uh, going off the left or right side of the world. So, uh, and the place I want to particularly do it is right above, right after. I, I, there's a lot of places actually I could do it, but I'm going to put it. Uh, right before we check to see if we have a platform to the left or the platform to our right um, and a button and uh, so I'm going to put in another if statement so this is um, get if we if our x location coordinate is less than or equal to the side width, um, if you, you may remember, is the width we created it up above. It's the width of our uh, actor from the middle to either side of him. So if it's less than or equal to the side width, then that means that basically it's, it's his x is the middle. That means that he's starting to go off the screen on the left side. Uh, so if that's happening, what we want to do is we want to basically um, we basically want to that means he's going down so we want to make sure that he goes in a moves to a positive direction um, because if he's I mean, he's going to the left that means his X would be negative we want to move it to a positive direction so the best way to do that we'll say Delta X which has our change in X our, our speed to the X direction equals we want to move it in the positive direction so that means that's just the absolute value absolute value means make the number posit positive um, if you remember a little math we may not know it yet that's okay it just means we're going to make the number positive so I'm going to write math which is how we get at math in Java which is what we're really doing ABS ABS means absolute value it just means make the number positive which means makes us make us move to the right of the whatever the delta x is already and it's gonna it will be negative so we're gonna turn it positive so that's gonna keep us from going off the left side of the screen now we just need to do the same thing for the right side of the screen so uh, we're gonna say if get x is greater than or equal to and this is really only gonna happen if we're all the way on the right side of the map is greater than or equal to the width of the world and that by the way is not the width, width of our whole map that's just the width of the screen okay uh, but it's good enough because we're, we're it's only going to happen the way we set it up we're only going to be at the right side of our screen if we're all the way on the right side of the map and it's a really big map so probably won't happen that often minus again the side width which is the width of the guy which is half the width of the guy. So if the get the our x coordinate is greater than or equal to the 
right side of the screen minus half our width, which means we'd be going off the right side of the screen. I'll do an open and close curly bracket. Then my delta x, well now I want to make sure my delta x is negative. That because I would have been moving right, I want to make sure I, I go left so I bounce uh, to the left. So my delta x, I'm going to do the same thing I did here. I'll find the absolute value of delta x. And then I'll just multiply it by negative 1, which is going to make my direction become left, make me start moving left. And that's, that's going to have me start, make me bounce uh, back to the left if I hit the screen that way. And that's going to keep me from going off either side of the screen. It's going to make me bounce off either side of the screen if I happen to hit it. And we'll see how this works right now. If I run it, if I try and jump off the side of the world, you'll see what happens. I bounce off, which is exactly what I wanted. And you can see that my things come on a lot more smoothly. And that is the end of the scrolling platform world for now. If I have enough demand and people are excited about it, I could talk to you about how to put some enemies and floating platforms and other things in here and make it into a real game. Or you could take that challenge and do it for yourself, which is what I'd love to see people do. I'd love to see up on the Greenfoot site some people turning this into real games of their own and see what people make with it. But if I have enough demand, I could show you how to uh, add those in. Just as a hint, what I would recommend is um, if you look at our platform map, which we created, which is a, basically a bunch of black dots representing each black pixel represents a platform. You could do such things as say each red pixel represents a uh, some kind of opponent. Um, uh, you could make each uh, blue pixel represent a floater. That's something you could very easily do by uh, looking at the, uh, if you look at your uh, make map method uh, up here, right? This basically at this part here, it just adds in a platform for every uh, black pixel. So you could create a similar thing here that would add in a different kind of actor, such as uh, uh, enemy or a scrolling um, scrolling platform I mean sorry a moving platform for that um, and that that would be a challenge I'd love to see some people make but if I have enough demand I could certainly teach you how to do that as well uh, and if not that I'd love to see here from my subscribers that I have am happy to have now so what else people would like to learn how to do in platform, maybe an isometric game, or maybe even a uh, maybe even um, a 3D game of some sort. So I'd love to hear it. Uh, but we're done for now. Thank you.